In this video, the Center for E-Learning Didactics and Educational Research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will present the X-ray techniques used in reptiles demonstrated on the examples of snakes, turtles, and bearded dragons. Only one of the correct methods will be demonstrated. Needed for this skills lab exercise are a foam block protected with plastic, adhesive tape, X-ray plates, lead plates, and if necessary, a tubular bandage, a side marker, scissors, and gloves. Radiation protection gloves, thyroid protection, and an x-ray apron and safety glasses are also required. Correct positioning of the patient is essential to be able to interpret x-ray images well. Anesthesia is usually not necessary. The animal is brought to the x-ray room in the transport box. The room is darkened and the x-ray plate is positioned in the field of light of the x-ray machine. The x-ray machine and the field of light are adjusted appropriately depending on the species and size of the animal. All materials required for each animal are prepared and laid out. The gloves are put on and the animal is placed on the x-ray plate. The x-ray techniques for snakes, turtles and bearded dragons will be explained individually. Due to the length of its body, snakes cannot be placed on the x-ray plate fully stretched out. Therefore, it is recommended to mark the individual segments using adhesive tape to determine exactly which section of the body has already been x-rayed and where the positioning will continue in the next imaging. The snake should essentially be fixated slightly stretched and as straight as possible to achieve the best image. With snakes, the standard radiograph projections are the dorsal ventral, DV, and lateral lateral, LL. To make good use of the space on the plate, the dorsal ventral and lateral lateral projections of a body segment are displayed directly one below the other on a plate. The empty unused half of the plate is protected with a lead plate to reduce scatter radiation. Seeing the two projections of the same body segment on one plate also provides a good overview of which images belong together. The first body segment can be x-rayed with or without the head. If the head is not to be x-rayed, it is fixated manually outside the x-ray area. If the snake's head needs to be x-rayed, plastic tubes made of acrylic can be used. Alternatively, the animal is placed under anesthesia. The same procedure is followed for all further body segments. The dorsal ventral and lateral lateral projections are taken one below the other on a plate with the snake being manually fixated outside the x-ray area. For larger snakes, additional people are required for fixation. You can keep the following rule in mind, one person per one meter of snake. X-ray imaging is an important diagnostic tool for turtles, as the palpatory examination of the animal is significantly limited due to their shells. With turtles, there are three standard image projections, dorsoventral, DV, lateral-lateral, LL, and the cranial caudal, CC. For the dorsoventral image, the turtle is placed with its plastron on the plate and, if necessary, in the case of very mobile animals, fixated to the plate with adhesive tape. The x-ray device is aimed at the animal from above. For the following two projections, the turtle is jacked up by a block of foam or something similar that is covered with a bag or shoe cover. The use of an adjustable x-ray tube is important for the lateral lateral and cranial caudal exposure as the beam path can be guided horizontally through the animal. The turtle's organs move within the salomic cavity and would be displaced if the animal was rotated. Therefore, lateral lateral and cranial caudal imaging only make sense if the turtle is in a physiological position. During the lateral lateral exposure, the x-ray machine is aligned laterally towards the turtle in the cranial caudal shot from the front. In this case, it is important that the animal is not fixated manually and that the limbs are not in the shell, otherwise overlapping will occur. For lizards, dorsoventral and lateral lateral are the standard projections. For the dorsoventral image, the animal is placed on the plate in a physiological position and if possible, the image is taken without manual fixation. If fixation is necessary, the hind limbs are fixated at the base of the tail with one hand 
and the forelimbs and neck are fixated with the other. For the lateral-lateral image, the animal is placed on its right or left side. The hind limbs are fixated below the base of the tail and the forelimbs below the head. When taking the lateral-lateral image, the hip bones should lie vertically in a line of each other, and the dorsal ridge or spine should lie parallel to the x-ray plate. For an optimal x-ray image, the limbs are carefully stretched as far as possible. Alternatively, the lizard can be placed elevated on a block, so that the picture can be taken with a horizontal beam. The tip of the tail can be fixated manually outside the x-ray field, as long as the lizard is not capable of autonomy or, in other words, self-amputation. After the x-ray imaging, the animal is put back in its carrier. The x-ray table is disinfected, and in the case of an analog x-ray machine, the plates too.